Hello everyone, today we have another LEGO friend set in front of us. So this is the Hot Lake City Community Kitchen and you can combine this set with the Hot Lake City Community Center and this is one of the main reasons I bought this set because I already own this, I really want to uh, stack that up and see how it looks like. And the other good thing is I bought this with a discount price. So today we're going to open this up, build it and take a detailed look at this set. And before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Without further ado, let's open it up and start building.
You're chilling in wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Baby, you give me a bit that I. You whip up my appetite.
And here we are, we have finished building the Heart Lake City Community Kitchen. So you get to build, of course, uh, the kitchen here. It also comes with uh, four mini doors and a chunky cat. So before I take a look at all the details within the Community Kitchen, let's take a look at the four mini doors. And we have Leo, Matteo, Abuleta, Elba, and a chunky cat. So this is the first time I get a little kid uh, mini doll. Other than that, you do get some cool hair pieces. Uh, but if you bought any of the set before this, so most of the things that you already have, apart from some of the uh, unique torso. And now let's move away the mini doll so we can take a look at the kitchen in detail. This set looks very good. Um, it's on par with the uh, Heart Lake City community center which is compatible with this set um, and you can see lots of details I really like how they um, create the full path here again uh, you got the angle entrance you got a sticker here but you can see the lots of cool details around I've got uh, some tables outside uh, with some food outside it's a nice color scheme with lots of details I really like the uh, stairs here underneath you do have a uh, rubbish bin area and then on top you've got uh, a table for four uh, what I like is I think uh, this line piece is new and all these uh, uh, tacos uh, printed also is an updated version good use of the firm pieces again and also uh, using uh, smaller pieces to create all these uh, details on the roof and this is not just about the exterior, there are tons of interior details and you can remove um, the roof easily uh, to get a better look inside. So inside, I really like the uh, cooktop here, it really looks like a, uh, a commercial kitchen. Um, and then you've got a few stickers um, to represent some of the food, but this is really cool. And also this uh, pressing machine is also very good as well. Basically, you can put the dough here and then press. Um, so this is pretty cool you got the counter uh, for you to pay and uh, the person will collect the money from here a, a drink fridge uh, you can see a pack of eggs on top which is a sticker but um, it's a cool soft drink uh, fridge and then over here you've got the monitor um, with um, the menu on you know what's selling in the community kitchen today and the only side is the uh, sink and uh, some place to prep uh, the food and this is also a very cool um, very detailed uh, piece of uh, build and you can see all the um, you know accessory and equipment just hanging on the wall so this is also very cool but on this side basically just the uh, spices uh, and, and seasoning so probably this is the ketchup and there's uh, plenty of other sources as well. You can see here the pins and the uh, modular uh, style um, edges for you to uh, connect with the uh, community center which is another video for another day. And this is the Heart Lake City Community Kitchen. I actually enjoyed building this set and like this set very much. It just looks really good even without the uh, community center by itself. It's a very nice uh, little uh, build. With an excellent looking exterior, it also comes with lots of interior details, especially for me that I quite like cooking, so seeing all this build here, it's just uh, excellent. You know, the only downside of this set is just the price, you know, without any discount, it retail at 130 New Zealand dollars with only 695 pieces, uh, which is asking a lot. And considering this is, you know, selling as part of the community center, if you need to buy both without discount, that's over four hundred New Zealand dollars. And lucky for me, though, the community center I pay a ridiculously cheap price, and this one only spend ninety five New Zealand dollars, so which is a significant discount. Other than that, as a Lego set, this is an excellent set that I would definitely recommend uh, to uh, anyone. Uh, you don't really need to have the community center, so by itself, uh, with a discount, is uh, worth buying. Do let me know what you think about this set in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the uh, upcoming video of me uh, joining uh, both sets together.